Hi, I'm Tim Woody, a biologist with Carolina Biological Supply Company. I'm going to show you three critters that can be a great addition to your science classroom. Hissing roaches are also called Madagascar hissing roaches and sometimes hissers. They are easily handled with a little experience, but first timers may find them difficult to manage. They do not bite, but they do have sharp spines on their legs. This may prick and startle those who are shy or inexperienced, but they will not break the skin. They move quickly and will need constant attention when out of their habitat. In nature, hissing roaches live on the island of Madagascar. They can be found on forest floors where they prefer to spend their time hiding in leaf litter and logs. They are most active during the night. Hissing roaches aren't considered as pests because they do not inhabit human dwellings. So if yours escapes, don't worry, you won't get an infestation. Setting up a habitat for the roaches is easy. Make sure you have a container with an escape proof lid. For substrate, use pine bark. Or for easy cleanup, simply use paper towels. You can feed the roaches a high protein dog food as well as fruits and vegetables. Remember to replace the fruits and vegetables when they dry out or become moldy. Hissing roaches can give birth to up to 60 nymphs at a time. These nymphs, or baby roaches, look like smaller versions of the adult but are about the size of a watermelon seed. This makes them small enough to easily escape through the air vents on some lids. The best way to ensure that you will not have baby roaches is to only have males in your habitat as females can retain sperm for several months. Males are easily recognized from females by two large bumps found on their thorax resembling horns that are called pronatal humps. For more information on how to care for these and other classroom organisms, visit carolina.com.